pronunciation English language, pronunciation lessons, learn English opportunities. And of course, our topic for today is about uh, how to feel more confidence while speaking English. Yes, but first and foremost, of course, if you are still not our subscriber, don't ever forget to hit the bell button first to subscribe and also you can follow us in our uh, Facebook page, Pronunciation English Language, and also please don't ever forget to share our uh, video and please do hit the like for this uh, video. Anyways, to continue, of course, our topic for today is about uh, how to feel more confident while speaking English. Yes, actually, two ways to feel more confident every time you speak English. Yes, the instant way and the long-term deep way. Yes, you need both methods to increase your fluency and communication. This will help you give great presentations, pass job interviews, and pass English speaking tests. So in this topic, we'll give you an advice and teach you to speak English powerfully. So, are you ready in our team? So, here is the number one, is a speak up. Yes, unconfident speakers often need to finish speaking as soon as they can or avoid speaking. Yes, but that can reduce your confidence even more. It's hard to build confidence if you rarely or never speak. Yes, confident speakers trust in their own abilities because they have spoken many times before. So build up your own speaking experience in this way by taking more opportunities. So the number two is uh, prepare well. Yes, a big cause of low confidence is feeling unprepared. If you aren't ready to speak, it's normal to feel unconfident, right? So before speaking, get yourself ready. Before a presentation, prepare what you want to say and practice until you can say it smoothly. Before a class, find out what the next speaking activity will be and uh, prepare some words and ideas to use. Before uh, social interactions, Prepare a few things to talk about, like uh, the weather or recent news. Yes, so uh, the next one is uh, change the way you think about failure. Yes, this is the number three. So change the way you think about failure. Yes, so... Uh, Failure is a part of learning. It happens to everybody, right? So, but uh, what's important is uh, what happens next. So, imagine, imagine, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. So, imagine you pronounce a word incorrectly. You try to express your ideas, but uh, can't say them clearly. The next one is a. Uh, you forget your words during a presentation. So the next one is uh, your speaking test mark is lower than you expected. So how do you react? This is a question mark. Yes, this is a big a question mark. So for unconfident speakers, this just confirm that you aren't good at speaking and make you want to avoid it, right? So confident speakers don't quit, right? So although they feel disappointed, they know those mistakes are uh, valuable because mistakes uh, show where they uh, can improve. And a confident speakers know that learning a language is a long-term activity. So they can, uh, so they don't give too much importance to one single short-term failure. So the next one, the number four, of course. Number four is a practice, positive self-talk. Yes, 
we are own worst critics, right? So we notice all our own little mistakes even if uh, other people don't. We say to ourselves uh, things like, uh, I'm bad at speaking English, but this is just an automatic thought. We needn't accept it, right? Interrupt this uh, negative self-talk by questioning it. So is, is it really true? Or have you forgotten what your uh, strengths and achievements are? Is it based on solid evidence or just uh, your emotions and worries? Is there any evidence saying the opposite? A.G. your past achievements or a passive, positive uh, comments from teachers? So negative self-talk actually is damaging your confidence. Positive self-talk is more encouraging. Do you understand? So you can say things like, uh, I'm not good at speaking English yet, or I'm working hard and getting better. So do you understand? So the next one is our number five tip is uh, don't compare yourself with others. Yes, if you feel inspired by people around you, that's good. But if you think you're all better than me, you, yourself, it will harm your confidence. Yes, don't try to be the best. Just try to be better than you were yesterday. Set your own standards for your English learning. You understand? So this will make you feel more confident and in control. So that's all for now, but I will leave you a question. What things boost your confidence as an English speaker? Yes, so what things harm it? So please put or write your answer in your comment section down there below and please share your ideas and of course points of view thank you so much and again if you like this video please hit the like and share comment and if you are still not our subscriber of course don't ever forget to hit the bell button first to subscribe and also please do follow us in our facebook page again thank you so much have a great and a wonderful break to all keep safe and god bless until the next time